Here at the 2018 Big East Men's Golf Championship, driven by Jeep. Hi, everyone. Jay Alter with you here at beautiful Kalawasi Island, where we have had three days of breathtaking views, terrific golf, and fierce competition, especially down the stretch. Nine teams entered the week, fighting for the conference championship, but by day three, it was down to two. The defending champs in Marquette against the 2016 champions, Georgetown. And the Hoyas controlled a three-stroke lead, entering the final 18 holes. The Tom Fazio-designed course was playing fast and firm on the final day, and it favored Marquette early. The Golden Eagles played like birds of prey on the front nine, shooting a team low 10 under par and building an eight-stroke lead at the turn. But on the back nine, it was all Georgetown. The Hoyas fought back with a total team effort led by three seniors. Putt by putt, they stormed all the way back to take the lead on the 17th hole. Senior Jack Musgrave took care of business from there. A clutch par on 18 to seal the championship. It marks the second Big East tournament title in just three years for Tommy Hunter's Hoyas. It, it, it's a big day for us. It is. Uh, we have three seniors and two sophomores. It's a nice blend. And, you know, the seniors, quite honestly, have played in every event since they started a freshman year. So from that point, we started this culture where we're not really worried about score. Uh, you know, I, I don't carry a phone uh, while we're playing, so I had no clue what was going on today. And a part of that is they also understand that it's 18 holes. It's not 13 or 14. And, Gosh, they did such a great job of clawing back today. It's all the work that we've put in as a team this whole year, knowing that this was our goal. Um, it just means so much. I, I can't say enough about the guys that I've played with and, and Coach Hunter. Um, he put a terrific game plan together for us this week. And uh, you know, I, we were talking to our team meeting last night, and we said if we stick to our game plan and we trust our shots and we trust ourselves, I, I, have, I believe and I have faith that it will take care of itself. We've done the best we possibly could since we were here, and our goal was to try to leave a mark as a, as a class. And I, I truly believe that Sam Cole and I have done that. Individually, first place went to Marquette freshman Hunter Icorn, who shot a three-day low two under par, holding off his teammate Matt Merlick, who was at even par, and finished tied for second with Seton Hall's Chris Yom. For Icorn, it was an incredible achievement, especially in his first year, but he leaves Kalawasi Island unsatisfied. I played smart off the tee, and I, I wasn't overly aggressive on a lot of putts. You know, I, I made sure I had dive speed on putts and stress-free pars, and maybe, like I said, sprinkling a few birdies yesterday, so. A few mishaps, I mean, I, I just looked at the scores. We had a couple, couple bad holes, and you know, that'll happen out here, and, it's unfortunate, but you know that's. I guess that's just how it was meant to be. Uh, coach said after after we got done, you know, we we learned from adverse situations, so we're we're looking to come back strong next year. It marks back-to-back -back years. A Marquette freshman has won the individual title here at the Big East Championship, as Icorn joins his teammate Matt Bachman as a Big East champ. So we leave Kalawasi Island once more, another year filled with final day drama as the Georgetown Hoyas bring the 2018 Big East Championship back to D.C. Too tall for me.